Hey guys, welcome back. I stand here humbled. So earlier in the video, I prepped five T junctions, and I started welding and pretty much messed up all of them. So now that I'm actually welding 4130 thin wall, uh, clean 4130 thin wall, I can see all the defects in my welding. So a little background, my plan was to use lay wire technique with one pulse per second, but things just uh, didn't work out. I think I was um, not keeping the torch moving, and that was causing it to ball up, so yep, old habits are hard to break. So uh, after messing up a bunch of times, I decided to uh, go back and reevaluate the various welding methods. So the method I'm using now is one pulse per second uh, dipping wire technique. Alright, so there's the finished weld. And uh, I think I like this method. The only thing uh, that's kind of tricky about this is you gotta dip right when the puddle is on its um, on its high end of amperage, and that can be quite tricky. Uh, and the thing is, is like when you're doing this, um, you gotta you probably want to pulse faster, but when you're first starting out like me, you gotta pulse a little slower which is why I'm pulsing, pulsing at one pulse per second because I'm just not used to uh, dipping at the right time yet but I think once I get more used to it I should speed that up so that I'm not heating the wire up so much alright so now I am doing um, the rule of threes so that's uh, that's roughly 33 pulses per second 33 background amps and 33 percent time on I found this method to be the easiest because it most resembles just standard welding. Uh, it's almost like you're welding but it's a little bit slower because uh, you get a little more time to uh, dip the rod and kind of position your torch because it's not heating the metal up as much. Okay, so now let's talk about all the stuff I'm doing wrong. Uh, so number one, my travel speed is too slow and the tube is getting too hot. Uh, number two, I'm moving the torch two steps forward and one step back. And uh, this is bad, uh, this is a bad habit of mine that I picked up uh, back in the day from dipping the rod and I would move it back so that I had space to dip the rod into the puddle. But uh, the problem with this is obviously like I'm not moving ahead as fast as I should be and it's causing uh, heat to build up. Okay, so number three is argon flow. Uh, you may have noticed that my gas lens is different. I'm using a 1.25 inch lens now and uh, I never used one like this before and didn't know how much CFH to feed it. Uh, I kept turning it up and up and eventually I reached a whopping 50 CFH. And I know that sounds really ridiculous right now, but at the time when I was doing this, it was like it, it just felt like it wasn't covering the area properly because I kept seeing like blue uh, tinge or uh, I don't even want you know what you'd call it, but it was like turning bluish color and pretty close to the weld. So I kept turning it up thinking, oh, it's not high enough. Uh, but I forgot why you don't want to do that, and the reason is uh, when you turn it up too much, you're creating turbulence, and the air beside it is actually swirling in, and it is uh, contaminating the, uh, the shielded area. So I think you want to run a large lens, or that I should run a large lens like this, somewhere around 20 or 30 uh, CFH. I don't know about 40, I think 40 may be too high, but 20 or 30. So unfortunately I 
Um, I finished welding and never ended up turning it back down because I didn't realize that I was just running it way too high. So, uh, and of course I ran out of argon. Okay, so the last bit is about the title of this video. Uh, it is the road to good welds. And originally I never intended to do a series on welding because of all the other welding videos online. But uh, after messing up so many times and like uh, having so much trouble with this, uh, it became apparent to me that I need to document it. So the next couple videos will be more welding and hopefully we shall take this road and by the end have ourselves some uh, decent looking welds. Yeah, <laughs> that's the plan anyway. Okay, so moving forward, I will, uh, in the next video, or next couple videos, I will be exploring uh, the uh, pulse dip wire technique. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done with the lay wire technique. I might give it one more shot to see if I can get that, uh, get that to work, um, but I don't know about that. And uh, the next, the last one is I will try to get a good looking... Um, rule of threes weld as well so yeah okay that's it for this week uh, thank you guys for waiting so long for this video and uh, I'll see you guys next week <laughs>